Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's Sunday. I like to do a Warriors group on Sunday, little study group. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe a little more, a couple more points. We'll see if we can get through half of them. We'll just do our best to see what happens. First quote that I wrote down that I want to go over is, be about your business. Be about your business. My dad used to say that. Every time I would start complaining about something, that would be his only answer. Be about your business. Go handle it. If you're not gonna handle it, shut up. <laughs> There's so many things in our lives that we can complain about that we never take action upon. How many more years are you gonna go with the same problems? I've gone decades with the same problems, wondering if they'll ever go away. And th they never do. I hate to tell you, they never do. Your problems never go away. Unless you get busy. Unless you get on it. Unless you're about your fucking business. That's what that means, go get on it. Don't bitch about it, go be about it. Go do something, motherfucker. Shut the fuck up and go do something. I don't wanna hear you bitching about bullshit. The fuck you want me to do? Go do something. That's the way my dad used to come at me. And it's just a lesson that every man needs to learn is you have to be about it. Let's move on to the next one. I'm gonna go through these kind of quick because I have a lot to talk about. There's a recipe for growth. A cycle. I'll relate it in two ways. Have you ever heard the phrase, strong men create good times, good times create weak men, weak men create bad times, bad times create strong men. It's a circle. It goes on and on and on. We can't get stuck in one of those spots or else we don't progress forward, we don't level up, we don't become better people. Unfortunately, no matter how strong you get, there will always be plateaus. Those plateaus are potential points of uh, stagnation. So when we find stagnation in our lives, laziness, and as I mentioned before, with about, be about your business. Stagnation is when you're not about your business. You're just sitting on the fucking couch watching TV all the time or whatever, just doing nothing. You're not acting. You're not moving. That creates conditions of loss, of struggle. Those conditions of loss and struggle are a test a test by the universe to see how strong you are. See if you're about your business or not. You see, greatness comes to those motherfuckers who are about their business. The rewards of the hustle come to those people who are about their business. Stagnation leads to loss, leads to struggle. Because when you stop moving forward, you start to slide backwards. Pro progress is an icy slope. You have to always be moving forward. The second you stop, even if it's for a break, you're going to start sliding back. You can slide pretty far. You can stay stuck. A lot of people get stuck in that point in the struggle. They don't know how to fight it. This is where Taoism comes into play. You have to go with the flow. That's how you fight the struggle, is to go with the flow. That doesn't mean you give in to it. It's not being passive. It's not being lazy. It means you don't fight the wind. You fly with it like a kite. You don't fight the waves. You surf them like a surfer. The surfer masters the ocean, not through strength 
through giving in. When you're in that point of loss and struggle, the way out for most of us is to give in. Give in to the struggle, give in. Which is really another word for repenting. Repentance and giving in is the same thing. When you repent, in the biblical sense, you, 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 you give in to, to God. That's what your faith is. You say, you know, I, I realize there's a higher power out there that is probably a lot better at handling this shit than me, so I'm overwhelmed. I, I don't know what to do anymore, and I'm just going to let you handle it. Let the universe handle it. Let karma handle it, whatever you want to call it. When you get to that point of giving in, or repentance is what you, if you want to call it that, since it's Sunday, then you get to a point that the next step in this is your growth. You don't get to a position of growth, of learning your lessons, until you can give in to that struggle. Stop, stop fighting against the current and start surfing it. When you reach that growth stage, that's an important stage to stay diligent in and disciplined in, and that leads to your greatness. When you reach your growth stage, you're one stage away from greatness. So you have to keep going, keep moving forward. Next little recipe. Let's go on to the next one. You'll see a theme here. So pain leads to attachment. Attachment leads to suffering. Pain leads to attachment, and attachment leads to suffering. When we're going through pain, physical pain, mental pain, someone just dumped you, you've got your heart broken, you've been rejected or betrayed, We can not want to let go, not want to go through that difficult transition. A lot of transitions are difficult. We can become scared of going through transitions. We want to just stay in a place of comfort. We want to, we want to get out of our comfort zone. Transition is leaving your comfort zone. We can become attached to our pain. It's unfortunate. I, I've been attached to pain. It, it becomes all you know. You think that your pain is your is a survival tool. It's not. We can become very attached to our pain, and that attachment is your suffering. The way to release yourself from the suffering of attachment is by allowing yourself to move on. Don't play dictator. Release that negative energy out of you to the universe. Let the universe deal with it. The universe knows how to deal with negative energy a lot better than you do. When you bottle it up, it just slowly kills you. That's the attachment. Let's move on to the next one. This is a warrior's group, little study group. I'm definitely not going to get through all of these. We'll just do our best. You have to be careful of what fear will make you do. You really want to be on top of your fear. Understand this, that there are only two emotions, love and fear. All other emotions stem from either love and fear and are either a love-based or a fear-based emotion. So anger, frustration, spite, Those are all fear-based emotions. If you go beyond anger, why are you angry? Let's sit down, we'll talk about it for four hours and we're gonna get to the bottom of it. Why are you angry? What's beyond all that rage and, and fury, what's beyond your violent temper, what's beyond the anger is fear. That's the root. That's the seed that that tree of anger grew from is fear. There's only love or fear. So, you have to be careful of what fear will make you do. 
remember, fear can be shame, fear can be guilt, fear can be anger. Fear can be anything that's negative, positive and negative, yin and yang. There's only love and there's only fear. You have to be careful what fear will make you do. When you're in a fearful mindset, in a negative mindset, don't make any decisions. Don't decide anything. There's a really good chance you will decide wrong. I'm trying to get through some of these as fast as I can. This one's a tough one and I'm not going to be able to talk about this in its full extent. I should make 10 videos on this, but our enemies are our blessings and our tests. You see, if you want to level up in life, experience your own greatness. That's what that means. Experience the greatness that God has meant for you. You have to be able to pass the tests and there will be tests and some of these tests are through your emotions. Can you handle your emotions or will you be taken over by them? Or you drowned in your own emotions? The way to pass the tests, because say for example, we can make a lot of enemies. The way to pass these tests is to forgive your enemies. You forgive your enemies not to give them a gift. The person that beat you, raped you, abused you, tortured you, you have to forgive them. Not for a gift for them. They may still go to hell. They may still burn in fire. <laughs> but you have to give up on the hope that they will. Give up on the revengeful thoughts. Give up on the anger, the negativity. You have to release it all. Let, let God deal with it. Who would you rather serve your enemies? You do it. You have to waste your time and do it. Or God, the ultimate motherfucking gangster, says, don't worry about it, homie. I got your back. You don't worry about those people. I got you. You just go do your shit. I got those people. I, I, I got them. Don't even worry about it. I don't want you involved in this. This is beyond you. That's the ultimate homeboy. <laughs> I mean, you have that. Utilize that. Your enemies are there to teach you a lesson. To see. For God to see if you're strong enough to let it go. If you're trustworthy enough for the greatness that you have waiting for you. Because you can only receive that, that true greatness through a tender heart through a certain level of reclaimed innocence. You'll never get there if you're living in the negative world, if you're playing God. Here's the last one. I don't know if we have time for this. It's better to be underestimated than overestimated. Just real basically, real quick. I would rather somebody underestimate me than overestimate me. I'd rather somebody think that I'm stupid than to think I'm a genius. <laughs> if you think I'm a genius, gosh, that's a lot to live up to, and I promise you I'm not really a genius. If you think I'm stupid, I might be able to surprise you. In fact, it's best just to be humble. You don't have to promote yourself. Let others promote you. Don't go bragging about anything. Be underestimated. And you'll surprise the world. It's all food for thought. Happy Sunday. <laughs>